Welcome to the Natural Skincare School. In this video, I'm going to tell you all you need to start a moderate size skincare line. Um, if you are used to DIY, perhaps you're going to understand what I'm talking about. You may have an idea, but you don't have all, the, all you need to start a skincare line. At Natural Skincare School, I teach her um, graduate of school practical you know training on how to make your own natural skincare products all you need to know to start your own skincare line my name is victoria i'm a, i'm a formulator of uh, with over 18 years of experience um, i have my own skincare line so you know you're hearing from an expert that has been in the field um, today i just said you know what i'm i've been putting this on and off i said i'm going to sit down today and tell you exactly what you need you might have been used to seeing this me measuring cups like if you watch a diy video i used to have a diy youtube channel so i used to use this a lot so you get used to all this but if you're starting your own skin line skincare line you don't need this anymore these are trash ask me why when I first started my own skincare, um, skincare line, um, I, I was thinking to myself, you know, I'll be able to use all this because I used to do DIY. So it's a plus for me. So, so happy, was so excited that, you know, at last I will be able to put all this thing that I spent money on to good use. But at last I discovered that they are all garbage. Why? Ask me why. As a formulator, you must get used to work, uh, working with percentage and grams, not with uh, one cup, two cup, one quarter cup, and so on and so forth. Um, for accuracy, your, your formula must be 100%. Using all this will never help you to achieve 100%. So if you want to uh, formulate a stable formula, you don't need any, so you need to throw this, throw this out. I'm not saying throw them in the trash can, but this would not help you. In another video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate uh, ton orders weight into percentage because that is the best way to formulate a stable and a professional skincare product. So if you are trying to get started, don't worry, this is the channel for you. I'm gonna be creating a series of introductory videos where um, I will show you step by step what you need to start your own skincare brand. And um, if you find all this video interesting, if you want to grow further, you might as well, you know, subscribe to my website at naturalskincareschool.com. There I show you step by step on how to formulate any skincare product. You see any skincare product on the market, I'm going to show you exactly how to decode the ingredients in those skincare products then I'm going to formulate it for you. And I do this over and over so my students get used to formulating, you know, like a pro. That's that's how we call it at Natural Skincare School. Right now, admission is not open. We are only open twice in a year, but I'm going to update you. Just make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. So when the course is finally open, I'll let you know. So what do you need to start your own skincare line? To start a professional skincare line, I always advise my students to start small. Start small, don't try to start big because it might be overwhelming because it's, ve it's very, very challenging. But if you learn from the expert, you learn people from people that have done that before, trust me, it's easy. And you know what? I teach all my students how to formulate stable skincare products and safe skincare products. Most of my students pass if they have to sell on Amazon because that's where you're going to get started. That's for another day entirely, how to sell your own skincare product. It's not just about, you know, starting the skincare line. You need to know how to market it and how to formulate it. So without wasting more of your time, what you need to formulate a stable skincare product is your weight. This is one of my, the first weight I got. This can, uh, I think this can go up to 500 gram if I'm, if I'm not wrong. So it's very good. I got this on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. You can see the link 
in the description box below. So this one is very good. You need this very well. You can we can take up to what even not wrong up to 500 grams or something. Yeah, so it's very very good. It starts from um, one gram, but I, I personally I noticed this start from two grams. Then you're going to need a smaller weight especially when you're first getting started because you're going to be formulating a lot of you know skincare products just to make sure you know they are good before you make large batch so you're going to need a smaller weight scale of this type let me just cut in a bit um, i see a lot of formula botanical students coming to me to get trained so if you are a formula botanical student and you are kind of lost as to what and what do you want i highly recommend you stay with me on this youtube channel um, i teach a lot of formula botanical students how to formulate stable product at formula botanical you learn the theory and you learn a bit of the practical so but at natural skincare school i take you a step further i show you the practical the they'll never show you a formula botanical because of time constraints so back to our equipment you need this you need a bigger one then you need a smaller one a smaller one that can measure from i think this one can measure from 0 0.1 gram to 1000 gram i think this goes up to weight to 2000 gram not sure but don't worry i'll leave all the information with you um don't forget that all the links i leave in the description box below they are all to my amazing uh affiliate link if you want that's a way you support me on this youtube channel you can buy from my link i would greatly appreciate it um so you need a smaller weight this is 0 0.1 gram you really need it especially when you have to measure your essential oil um your fragrance if you want to use fragrance or you want to measure in smaller quantity this is very very accurate it took me a long time to find a very very accurate small scale but because i've done all the hard work for you you don't have to do it again so that's why i make it easy for all my students so after that so the, the scale apart then you're going to need a water bath a water bath very essential something of this nature is very very essential to you formulating a stable product i hear people say um you can use a microwave do not listen to people that tell you to melt your oil and butter in the microwave you have to keep in mind the microwave might destroy the property of your oil and butter so don't microwave any of your oil even if you have to make a simple soap i don't recommend you microwaving okay radiation destroys stuff it's powerful so it will destroy your the property of your oil or butter so do not microwave so you need um you need this what you do is just you put water in it and you're going to put it on a hot plate you need a hot plate definitely a hot plate is the way to go you really need a hot plate and this is what you're going to put on your hot plate and you'll be able to melt your butter and oil and uh, to reach the desired temperature so that you can make a stable product so that aside you're going to need isopropyl alcohol you ask me why do i have all this i have this on my desk because this is what i used to after wash, washing all your equipment you're going to need it to spray it okay you need to spray i'm going to show you right now so let's say you want to use for instance um we're still going to come back to all this so i just say you finish washing all this okay and you want to use it but to be safe you want to make sure it's jam free right so you take your isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol you throw it in the spray bottle okay i'm going to leave you all the link to where to get all this this will save you a lot of time a lot of headache so you need isopropyl alcohol have it already in here then after washing it you're going to make sure you spray it make sure you spray it let it be dripping wet okay you see as you see what i'm showing you here people will say why are you showing it for free no i want you to get used to how i train my students okay i train them the best way to go 
the best way to formulate stable, safe, and natural skincare products that pass lab tests the first time. So that's why I really, really encourage you to, you know, follow me on this channel. If you have your own skincare line, that's good because you can, we can all grow together. I won't tell you I know more than you, right? That would be bragging, isn't it? So how we're going to learn together. I'm going to share my ideas with you. So after spraying wherever you want any of your equipment, you just, you know, make sure it's dripping wet. Then you can, you can leave it on, on a, um, a paper towel of this nature. But as time goes on, I'm going to sh when it comes to time to, uh, to the next video to on how you can sterilize your equipment, I'm going to go f into detail of this. So for now, that's just what you need. Isopropyl alcohol for okay. Isopropyl. I picked this up from Walmart. I actually found them the cheaper Walmart than on Amazon. Not sure. I don't know why. Maybe because Amazon sell off on time you know hide the hype the the prices so that being said i'm going to take this step by step i'm not going to rush you so now this takes me to the next you need a beaker um borosilicate be beaker don't buy any beaker in here because borosilicate beaker they have um they are good in that they have good um Borosilicate beaker are good in that they're light, they, they're heat resistant. Sorry about the destruction. They're heat resistant, meaning you can put this on the, on a water bath, put water in it, and uh, put it on your hot plate. You have no worry at all. It's going to melt your stuff, even no matter how if they take it, they are very, very heat resistant. So that's why I highly recommend borosilicate uh, beaker. So you're going to need borosilicate beaker. Uh, if you don't know where to get, I got most of this from Amazon. So I have, five, as you can see, I have a lot. Like I have 500 ml. I have uh, 100 ml. I have, you have different sizes. I have up to even 5,000 ml. Right now, I have up to 5,000 ml, but I don't have everything on my desk right now. But here are some you need as much as you can get. But don't rush yourself. I'm going to show you. You see why you have to learn from me and other that has, you know, that have been there. You know, you can never be careful of um, skincare school that are online. Most of the owner of the skincare school have no clue about they don't even have their own skincare line so because i have my own skincare line i've been there before i've done it over and over and for your information as time goes on you might hire me to make your own custom skincare products so i do do custom uh, formulations that's one of my expertise so you need different beakers because you're going to use this to make your oil to make your butter to mix them because they are very why do you use borosilicate why don't you just use plastic if you see any skincare brand owner using plastic to warm to make skincare no they, they have no clue what they're talking about you know i've watched a lot of youtube video when people just use uh, plastic uh, polystyrene plastic to make uh, soap to make, i really feel for all this because you know what you have to be careful about plastic glass is safe glass is safer in that you will you are able to um, sterilize to sanitize it okay it's the best if you go to labs even if you go to big skincare lab you're going to see glass being used especially borosilicate so you're going to spend a lot of your money on this so you have different sizes i have i won't tell you how many how many how many borosilicate i have up to 55 yeah it's a it's a serious business you know but as time goes on i didn't get them all the ones but as time goes on you're going to invest in them you're going to need a whisk obviously a whisk but i'm going to tell you how to get your own whisk don't don't, don't buy your weight until i tell you what to do just i don't want to waste your money you're going to need a spatula okay a spatula is what you use to mix your product together okay and because mainly you work with emotion you make emotions so you need things to to stay it you need a steering rod okay a steering rod is the way to go you really need a steering rod to be able to stay your your products a steering rod is the way to go you need a steering rod to be able to stay your product for instance when you want to melt 
don't worry if you don't understand one. If you want to make santan gum and glycerin, you're going to put your santan gum here, put glycerin in, then you're going to mix it. That's why you need the syrup. No YouTube channel is going to show you what I'm showing you. They want you to go on the website to learn it. But you know what? I have too many information on my website. Why don't I just give you the introductory video so that you know exactly what you're going to get on my website? So you're going to need steering rod. I have quite a bit of them. Lots and lots of steering rods. So you're going to need steering rod to get ready. Get ready. That being said, another thing you're going to need is... Uh, I always suggest to people you're going to need different sizes of spoon. Why? I use this to take um to scoop out my important leg powder and stuff like that. To scoop them out, you need that. Then you're going to need uh, a mask. Okay? You need a nose mask. This you're gonna use over your nose, okay, to prevent uh unnecessary you know uh dirt from getting into your into your nose it's very very essential because you want as you're doing this you want to pr protect yourself also so that's why you will you're going to need that so you're going to need a nose mask don't worry you'll be like where am i going to get all this from i've done the hard work for you so don't worry i'll i'll, I'll link it up in this then you're going to need a thermometer Okay. A thermometer of this type, especially if you're making soap. Don't worry on this channel, I'm going to show you, not on this channel alone, on my website I'll show you how to make your own soap, how to make practically anything. That's why I call it natural skincare school. My specialty is to show you the practical side. You know, I'm going to tell you a bit about the theory, but I'm going to tell you the practical steps you need to formulate great skincare products so this is very essential especially when you want to measure the temperature of your of your emotion okay because you work with emotion emotions a lot when you're formulating so you're going to need this and if you don't want this sometimes most people don't want this because you have to sterilize it so you don't want to contaminate your skincare product then you can go for this guy here um it's infrared, infrared thermometer. This is very essential. Let's say you are warming your water and there's an, uh, your, your water and your water, right? You want to use this to be able to check the temperature. Okay, so, so this is very essential. You'll be able to check the temperature without having to use anything to contact that. So that's another way of keeping your skincare products from contamination. So you need, you're going to need an infrared thermometer. I'm going to give you a link to how now to get all this. If you don't want to waste your money, like some of us did. I know when I was getting started years ago, I wasted a whole lot of money. But if you don't want to waste your money, you need all this. Get them from my link. Get them from this link. You, I, like I told you, they're all my affiliate link. But I'm not just selling crap to you. I'm selling exactly what you need. And look at everything I have here. They're all bestsellers on Amazon. It takes me years of research. Oh, yes. Years of research to get this right. And that's what I'm telling you. So I'm not just telling you uh, for sale.